Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Michael here from Trading Institutional Order Flow. Um, it's time for a new video. Um, just been away for a little while, so it's time to do another video lesson. I wanted to start by saying a big thank you to all of you who've really come out to the shadows and are posting on the thread and building that relationship and, and um, sharing your trades. I'm, I'm so proud that you have all found the um, the thread useful and a place where you can hang out safely and, and chat and, and get to know each other. I know many of you are also in contact behind the scenes as well. So I'm really grateful to everyone who's contributing um, to some of the mentoring students and to other traders who are here. This is really, really, really great. Thank you all very much. I mean, people are actually making money and, and are posting this. This is pretty life-changing stuff and, and I'm grateful to, to be a part of it. Um, remember guys, um, the webinar is this Sunday. It's um, 8.30 p.m. UK. It's an invite into the um, into the world of the round table. Um, it starts at 8.30 as I said if you guys want to be a, a part of that. It's um, as simple as just sending me your email and, and I automatically include you on the list. I don't um, necessarily reply everyone because quite a few people have contacted me and it's um, a bit difficult to keep up with with everyone so apologies if you think I haven't seen it I have and I have included you you will get an invite on the day um, and also with instructions on how to log in remember to use the phone icon top left so today I wanted to um, quickly go through a lesson with you for example on this Aussie trade I mean we talked about this trade before I know a lot of you were looking at this zone and I was saying be be mindful of it because the structure wasn't good um, we've seen what's happened the zone that I was more interested in was this one and I, I wanted to point out it's it's taken out now so it's no longer relevant um, so I wanted to to point out um, that this this trade here there were trades that took place in here so it wasn't the whole zone that you you were going to take you were going to be aware when prices came in and you were going to look to take um, opportunities so the opportunities we took um, was on the 60 minute and it was this trade right here and you can see why we took it these black lines are that daily supply zone and you can see the um, the tr the momentum line obviously being broken you have if you had an embedded zone in here that was removed making this an area of interest price rallied back into it and it fell like a rock so some of us um, made good money on that and you could have taken smaller time frame shorter term income trades in here off of this 60 as well if you're looking at like the five minute that kind of thing so it's this is this is the mindset to have for these trades not to necessarily always want to look to take the big time frame but understand what is the most appropriate action to take when prices get to these levels okay so let, let's do some short-term income analysis for example starting with the euro I haven't looked at this chart in a long while um, clearly the momentum is up so I'm going to be doing this from from the point of view of a of a short-term income trade so we have the daily um, trend is going up the current curve is this is very interesting there's actually no fresh supply above until surprisingly and it may amaze many of you till there so we have a situation where this if this trend continues there will be demand zones that will be formed as we go up that we can participate in because right now there is no supply above you can you can see big wicks that's all you can see this was a wick into this area all of that area like that and all these are just wicks into bigger time frame supply areas and everything here is tested so now that we have established an uptrend where we've taken out supply and we're able to draw an uptrending momentum line 
the chances of, of the euro going up are, are relatively high unless we start taking out demand zones again um, but for now the buy is the way to go on that one so look at the pound again you can see the pound is forming demand zones supply zones are being taken out this is the pound Aussie on the daily the next potential stopping point is somewhere up in here you can draw it like that you can draw it like that it's up to you um, this area is also an area of interest I would wait though to see how today's candle closes um, if it closes anywhere in this range then you might want to leave this area on your charts to watch out for that okay so on the CAD pound CAD you can see there's a little bit of an area here it's more tricky and obviously this one would have to be a confirmation entry um, you have another one below it and for the supply above you're looking at that area um, when you're looking for short-term income trades so definitely not in a place where you should be considering selling right now on smaller time frames but possibly even looking for buyers let's take a look inside there see if we see anything interesting um, okay, I suppose the only area that stands out to me is that one if you're looking at a really short short term income trade but you'd have to watch how this arrives into it and make sure there's um, a good arrival into into this zone so that's a 15 minute view with this supply zone having been taken out um, so we'll see how that pans out let's go back to the daily and do one more let's pick another pair let's pick the USD Japanese yen okay I think we have some old lines in here so this would have been the daily zone or you could draw it like that you could draw it like that this would be the, the daily zone and for supply all that area is already worked out let's see if there's anything else to the left that's not tested so we're looking at potentially here for fresh supply so we have some demand below it's not great I actually prefer this lower zone just below it because if you draw this zone like this it would already this area would already be tested and clearly we're still the momentum is still to the downside I think this low the lowest low here was 112.571 and the lowest low here was 112.52 so we do have a lower low and so can use that peak so we have momentum is down tested demand zone so it's actually not really fresh maybe you want to consider that not fresh but you have that just below it so these are the two areas in in the US dollar Japanese yen to, to be looking at so right now there isn't much to do ah finally let's look at gold let's look at one of the commodities okay I'm just gonna take out all these old lines and we will see where we are so um, I'm not sure if it was on this forum that I posted these um, levels um, but we've we've been looking at these and you know, the guys on the round table so we have these areas I mean you could draw that one like no that one's correct this upper one you could draw it like that but either way you know you're at levels where you do not want to be participating the issue with, with participating with um with buying but the issue with those trades was that you had this demand zone created on the way up to them which limited the potential moves on there. Now, if this area is eventually taken out, um, or th or it bounces from here, say for example, bounces from here and goes back up into here. And obviously, here you're in sell mode again. Down in here, you either want to be in buy mode, or because it's been tested, you want to stay away from it. That's a tested zone. The next fresh demand zone below would be like that okay guys just a quick video to to give you some potential uh, markets to put on your watch list um, thank you again remember guys the goal for the um, channel is 2,000 subscribers we've had a massive jump in the subscription levels over a hundred people have subscribed since the last video alone so thank you to everyone who subscribed and thank you for sharing the videos thank you for continuing to be um, great to each other on on the thread and and to all of you who are making money i'm really really grateful um to god for for his blessings on you thank you all very much and i will speak to you all again very soon take care bye bye